and welcome along and welcome back to Hope Belleron. We are headed up to field four today because we have our second of our two harvesting contracts to get done today. Uh, it is a field full of canola and we still have our harvester and our Kubota M7 here from the previous contract. Uh, this actually is a really nice tractor. I love this M7. Uh, it's uh, M7172 that we've got on here. I think this is the one down from the one that I want to get on Calmston Farm uh, for the realism experiment. I, I really, really want one of these. I love this little Kubota. And uh, would work absolutely perfect for us on there. Actually, as it would work for us well on here. I mean, we do already have two tractors on here. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't say no to, to grabbing one of these on here. We do still have our new Holland Combine over there. So I'm going to bring my Kubota over this way. And just park this here. And yeah. Over this way, we've got our new Holland Combine. This being the CH770 that we had last time that we did the field of oats with. Uh, you can see that field now actually has been uh, fully worked by the farmer. So uh, no evidence of the oats that we did there last time. That is after having completed the contract at the end of the last video. And getting the money in for that, we've now got 38,000, which is good. After today's harvest, we should be in a fairly good place maybe to uh, get the uh, get a cow area. I want to I want to get uh, somewhere for our cows. We need to be producing milk um, because I want to get to baking a cake. That is my aim for the end of this series, is to uh, to have cake making started down at our bakery. And to do that, we're going to need some cows, we're going to need a dairy, uh, and so, yeah, it's, it's going to be a case of getting those things running. Um, the first thing is going to be getting the cows running. And so, uh, yeah, we need to do that. We're going to need money in to, uh, to buy the cow shed. We're going to need money to buy the cows. And I want to get ones that are already producing milk. So they're going to be slightly more expensive. And we're going to have to buy the feed in because we don't have any grasslands ourselves. So, uh, yeah, our crops are going to have to do that. So getting these contracts done and continuing stuff with these... Uh, are absolutely imperative to getting that uh, stuff or getting the ball rolling on that. I love the views out across Hope Belleron. I mean, look at that. You've got in, the, in this nice morning light, you've got the monastery up on the top of the hill just framed by the, the misty mountainsides and the misty hills in the background. And then down the bottom, you can see the fields and the valley and in the distance, I think you can just make out the viaduct going across the valley over there. It's uh, it's really quite a beautiful map, this. One of the nicest base game maps I think I've ever seen in Farm Sim. Um, both this and Elm Creek and, in fact, Erlengrat. So all, all three base game maps in, uh, in FS22 are utterly fantastic. And, uh, yeah, I really like being up on this side of the map and just looking down over that valley. It is just so stunning to uh, to look at. I reckon with the odd shape of this field, we're maybe three quarters of the way around. Uh, it's, it's a very thin top end. Um, we are over half full on our tank, on our combine. So this is a fairly good yield coming off here. Uh, I think it must have been fairly well fertilized and, uh, and looked after, uh, which is really good. That means we should easily make uh, the amount that we need or should easily be able to get the amount that we need off here to complete this contract. In fact, how much do we need to complete this contract? Uh, we're looking at delivering 42,700 litres. So, uh, looks like this holds just under 10,000 litres, this combine. 
and the trailer that we've got takes two loads off this so i think we're gonna be um i think we're gonna be about four four and a bit trailer fulls no no four and a bit combine fulls to complete this field i think will end up being uh maybe two and a bit trailers uh, to complete this so yeah we'll deliver two trailers worth and then we'll try and we'll go and look at how much we still need to deliver and we will uh, just get that amount into the combine empty that amount into the trailer and then that should hit exactly what we need for this contract that will mean that we then have the maximum amount of canola left over uh, to take down to our windmill and turn into uh, canola oil, uh, which will uh, maximize our profits on this field once again. And that is exactly what we're after. Uh, we're 80% full. I wonder if we can make it all the way back down to that tractor and trailer uh, before we have to empty. There is only one way to find out. This is going to be close. We are 93% full. And we are getting fairly close to this corner. 96, 97, 98, 99, 98% full. Wow. That is, um, that is close. Really close. Um, but that should give us uh, about half full on our trailer, maybe 49% full on this trailer. I think this, the one thing, the nice thing about this combination of tractor and combine is that, yeah, this, this trailer does hold pretty much exactly two full tanks from this combine. So this combine holds over 9,000 liters. So nine, I'm guessing 9,200 liters. Uh, is going to be the amount that this combine holds. So, yeah, that's really, really good. That we'll get about 20,000 litres. Maybe just over 18,000 litres in this trailer. Uh, that is going to be two and a bit trailer fulls in order to empty and complete the amount that we need to develop, deliver for this contract. So, uh, yeah, that is brilliant pretty good this should all work out really really well and we will keep an eye on how things are going as i spread the canola out a bit and we head off and back into the canola for another tank full so i have some good news if you uh, like my content and want to see more of it um for those who don't know i stream three nights a week over on twitch on a wednesday a friday and a sunday and i have been releasing vods for the realism experiment series that i do over there over on my second youtube channel which is virtual farmer 2 now it's been a little while since i've released a vod over there but as of yesterday lunchtime i have started releasing the VODs from the live streams over there. Uh, I am now doing them as premieres. So if you want to discuss things uh, with other members of the VFN while uh, those are going on and uh, want to go and uh, and have a chat and uh, have a good time um, speaking with other people, I will be dropping in there as well. Um, you can do so. It will... So the plan is for the VODs for the release as we have a fair amount of a backlog. Uh, is that I'm going to be putting them up as premieres on the nights that I'm not live on Twitch. So on a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday at the moment, um, I will be putting the VODs up uh, over on Virtual Farmer 2 as premieres. So uh, chat will be enabled and, uh, and you'll be able to go and check that out over there. Um, and we're going to keep doing that until uh, we've worked through the backlog. And once we work through the backlog of, uh, of VODs, uh, there are some VODs from early FS22 I plan to put up. So uh, all the stuff from Elm Creek that, that so far hasn't gone up. Um, everything that I've got from there I will do. And we have a load of content from the end of FS19 as well. So 
all of the stuff from Bessie Beneath, the latter half of Bessie Beneath, uh, the realism experiment on there, I'm going to put up on there as well. Um, because I think uh, you guys, you know, you guys tend to enjoy that stuff and 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 like it and and want to catch up on on bits so yeah i want to get make sure all of my realism experiment content is up there um also there's a few one-offs and things that i uh that i either might put up on here and do as premieres or i might put up on there as as premieres uh things like at the end of fs uh 19 I did a load of live streams that were retrospectives. So looking at the older versions of Farm Sim. So I'll either, I, I don't know whether to put those up on here or Virtual Farmer 2. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I, th I think considering that's where all the live stream stuff is, um, I might put those up on there uh, instead on here. And again, run them as premieres over there. If you're not already, uh, subscribed over on virtual farmer 2 i am trying to get up to the uh thousand subscribers on there so please pop over i'll put a link up in the top right hand corner um but so uh yeah please pop over there drop us a subscribe and uh yeah never miss anything from virtual farmer i'm coming up to the second full tank on the combine Quite pleased I've managed to go three, well, almost full uh, headlands without doing it. I was only planning to do two headlands initially, but uh, this should work out quite well. What is the maximum fill of this? 9,300 litres. So that's great. Let's uh, head over and go and grab the tractor and trailer. So this should pretty much give us a full trailer, I think. I'm not, uh, I'm not expecting it to not do that. That was a lot of negatives. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting it to, to basically fill this trailer up now. We are in a position where 9,300 is a very decent amount giving it a good spread across this table trailer uh trying to spread the weight because we want to make sure that the uh the, the weight is spread as evenly as possible in this not so much a an issue for a dolly trailer you can uh well if you have it back weighted it can cause a bit of a problem on slopes and things but not quite so much as if you were uh, if you were doing a non-dolly trailer will this all fit in here that's quite a lot we've still got left. And yes, there we go. So how much is in here? 99%. So yeah, this, this will hold uh, the full two tanks from here, which is brilliant. And uh, now what I want to do is set a hired worker going on this. So we need this to deliver to there. So let's create a job. We want to deliver. Uh, we are unloading. Where's this? I think that is. There we go. Uh, no, that's the cheese dairy. I don't want the cheese dairy. There we go. Zara family is firm shop. So that is where we want it to leap, go to. We want it to loop. We don't want it to loop from here. We want it to loop from here. So loading position I'm going to put on the edge of the road there because i'm doing my cuttings across the field like that so let's start that job get out of their way there we go and now we should be able to get the rest of this going fairly well although i think that ai worker is trying to head over to that roadway over there and hopefully they're gonna make it but, um, yeah, there we go. They do really like to seek out the first piece of full solid tarmac they can get to. So with the headlands complete, I'm now going to start my cuttings. And I've noticed a really neat little feature on GPS. So I defined my first row going along here like this. 
and going this is this is where i uh, i want to do in fact it's saying minus three at the moment which is very very interesting because that's not quite right for where i defined so i want to take this minus two minus one zero this i think is where i no. in fact i don't think i want to go plus one for my cutting so we'll go up to one and that should then be a six lane cutting so that is in the bottom right hand corner you can see gps telling me what row i'm on and what row it will attach to so turn it on and down and we should be a good three rows over from the edge uh which we are which is exactly where i want to be because now uh we're gonna get a nice six row cutting although yeah i think my angle's slightly off because that is not hitting <laughs> where i thought it was i think i must have uh the whole thing sort of given it a slightly skew whiff angle never mind this will be fine as i suspected my uh my cutting was very much not at the right angle um but we are 83 percent full we're not going to make it the whole way down the next row without emptying so i'm going to empty this out here uh, it does mean that we will probably need to... Well, we're probably going to need to do a, an extra run or two anyway with the trailer. But the crucial thing is that we know we're going to have more than two full trailers to complete this contract. Uh, so it, it should be fine. It should be absolutely fine doing a not quite full second trailer. Uh, we'll then be able to fine tune exactly how much we need to deliver for the third one. And we can go from there. This is almost empty though. There we go. And now I can go and... Well, do you know what? I'm going to finish off this little bit here. And then I'm going to go and cut back in on the... Uh, further up the field uh, just sort of neaten this up and then we're going to be in a position where we will be handling things a lot better uh, for the rest of this field at least until we get up to the top end and we have to de deal with these odd angles again we're coming up to a fairly full combine again we are 86 percent full uh, we've started another cut in and i'm hoping that I'm going to be able to make it all the way back to the other end. I miss any at the end there. No. Good. Uh, it's worked out rather well. I um, managed to, to get this now into six lane uh, lands that we are going through and doing. And yeah, we are at 91% full. I will be surprised if we manage to get all the way to the other end without having a full tank i think it's going to be very very close to the end 96 percent yeah oh this is slightly nerve-wracking because i do want to get out at the end of the row and uh tip this but we are there we go not quite that's all right what we'll do is we will get our auger out and we'll go and get our tractor we're gonna have to move this tractor anyway for so the last couple of loads off here or the last load off here because yeah we're moving into the area where that's gonna be a lot more uh precise that we have to be we'll get the full load off this though and then that will tell us or at least inform us of uh how much more we need I love emptying the combine from this angle. I mean, this is just brings back so many memories doing this from here and just sort of loading the combine or loading the trailer up with combine and just trying to spread evenly out uh, the grain when you're doing it so as not to load one particular part of the trailer more than any other part of it that does it let's put the auger back in we'll put that down and we'll see how full this is 
Yeah, 92% works nicely. So let's send this off on the job again. Basically the same job. Going to change where it ends up. I'm going to make it end up there facing that way this time. And start job. And away it goes. And it should go for the first piece of tarmac, which is over there. Um, it's not going to use the dirt track next to field nine. It will go right up around the top to deliver this we discovered this when we were doing field nine uh it it doesn't use the dirt tracks and cut across uh instead much prefers to go tarmac the whole way our tractor is about to deliver the grain so hopefully or deliver the canola so hopefully we're gonna see how much uh or what the progress is given on that. And once it's delivered, we can see how much more we need to deliver to complete this contract. It can sometimes take a little while to actually do that. But yeah, we can see it's dropping it now because the percentage is going up. 80% complete. But how much... There we go, 81% transported. So with all of that transported, and I guess our, yeah, our tractor now moving away, we can go back to the contract here, and we need to deliver another 7,100 litres. So that is our target now in our combine. We have 2,900 in here. Uh, we will empty the combine out when it hits 7,100 and a little bit litres. And that should then complete this contract. Well, yeah, that should be enough to complete the delivery for this contract. And then every piece of canola after that can go into our windmill and make oil for us and make extra profit. We are coming up to oh, we're 6,800 litres and I don't really want to do a... Well, we're going to have to do a cut-in. So this row here, this is 13, 14, 15. Right, we want to cut in about here-ish. 16, yeah. But in we go. And, yeah, we need to stop this at exactly, well, just over 7,100. We're getting very close. And we're going to have to back out. There we go. 7,108 litres. That should easily be enough now to complete this contract. Or get out. That off. And let's go grab the tractor. That's quite a lot of field left. Quite a lot of canola left for us to uh, to make profit from. I'm really quite pleased. That's uh, this is a, this is a high yielding field. I'm I'm impressed. I'm very happy. It's all really really good news. Let's bring this over here. Unload this, and yeah, oh, I don't know how much we're gonna get off here. Not it. It's, it's going to be less than I think. It's less than a tank, definitely. Is it less than half a tank? I don't know. I'm going to plumb for half a tank. If we get a half a tank off this, about 4,000, uh, 4,500 litres, I will be happy. Um, that would be a decent extra amount of canola off this field for us to make some profit from. So put that in. We will send this now off to the sell point so start job because we don't need to make it any difference from what it was before i think you're blocked by the combine apparently so let's move that start this up again and away we go yep yeah, blocked by the combine and now it's heading to the nearest piece of tarmac which is the road directly behind Contract is complete on field four. Uh, we actually got an extra one thousand uh, and eighteen pound off that, so we delivered slightly more than we needed. It was pretty much exactly spot on what it said the contract required. 
Um, but it, it gave us a thousand, so I think that's probably an extra thousand liters more than we needed, which is interesting. Um, and I think that might be to do with how much of the field we've harvested. So I'm very tempted to actually deliver slightly under on future contracts, especially of this sort of size. We are going to have... Ooh, even, even my estimate of half a tank was a bit high. Uh, 3,400, so 3,500 pretty much assured. Um, but that's not bad, actually. I'm uh, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, 3,516 litres uh, excess we've got off here. So I'm going to take the combine, park it over the corner of the field here. And then I'll take control of the tractor and trailer. And we can empty this out. And when we've done that, head back to our farm with the Kubota. I'm pleased with the results of this. This has gone very, very well. I think we still got a little bit of tinkering to do with the contracts to make sure that we maximize the amount of money we can get. Because even that thousand that we just got off here for delivering just a little bit extra of the canola than we needed to, um, that would have made more money had we got it into our grain mill. So, yeah, we need, to, we need to, to sort of refine that a little bit more. However, that is these contracts finished. Uh, we're just going to run this down to our farm and, uh, and tip this canola into our windmill so that we can go and create some canola oil. And then uh, it's still only five to four so i think there's a couple of more little jobs that we can get out of the way today back to our farmyard and yeah just turn in front of him we want to get this lined up looks like our windmill is nicely going already that is with the oats from last time so that is currently creating flour uh we want to get that transported down to our bakery actually we need to get the oh, wow look at that we've got a whole load of tomatoes those need delivering um basically uh, as per what we've been saying previously uh the perishables need to be sold uh as quickly as we can so we have five crates of tomatoes to sell today um we have just the single thing of um flour to do yeah, active productions is barley flour. I thought we were doing oats. Let's have a look in here. Uh, that's doing barley flour. Do we have... That's inactive. What do we have? We have oats. So let's deactivate the barley flour. Let's activate the oat flour. We want that. And let's activate the canola as well. Um, that will then output those... Yeah, so that's going to output canola oil and flour, which we want to get down to the bakery. We need to now go and complete the contract if we've got nothing left in this trailer, which it looks like we don't have. Look at our sunflowers. They are coming along so nicely. pH value is okay. Nitrogen is perfect. Uh, we're going to get 121% yield out of 125% yield potential on these sunflowers. So that's really good. Right, let's complete this contract. We are looking at 6,700 minus 1,000. So 5,645. Let's collect that. There are a couple of baling contracts hanging about. One is silage bales and the other is uh, tether. Uh, is and you know what i think we're gonna hit the grass contracts next time i'm gonna borrow the items for both of these uh yeah we'll borrow the items for both of these uh there's a good overlap between the two but it would cost well this is so what do we need from this so we just need a bale wrapper how much would a bale wrapper cost to lease 
Unfortunately, so neither of those bales have a built-in bale wrapper because that would be perfect. Uh, let's see. Bale wrapper, bale wrapper. There we go. Bale wrappers. Uh, 22,000 leasing that would cost us uh, 1,122 to lease both sets of machinery. 107 and two. No, we'll, we, will, we will lease both sets of machinery. It's not a massive loss on... Uh, on those and actually we got if we got follow me going we could use uh yeah two of these bits i think it's gonna be a pain to pick these up but uh we might be able to get an extra bale or so out of these and uh and maybe get something to start our cows so uh yeah let's uh borrow items and we will also borrow items there and that means next time we can take on some bailing contracts. I was wondering where it was the other day, actually, that I got the mulcher and it's on here. This this mulcher is really quite nice and quite big. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to end up getting that on the realism experiment as well, because it is just a nice big piece of kit uh, that doesn't require a huge amount of horsepower. It just, yeah, works so well. Uh, as far as uh, that is concerned yeah big and uh, and not heavily horsepower requiring is always a good combination right have we got some tomatoes in here no we don't uh, let's get our front loader tractor which does have the pallet forks on it and load up these tomatoes Four boxes loaded up. We're just going to grab the fifth one here. And then we can run this down to the sell point. And get these uh, sold before they go rotten. And yeah, then we've got two things of flour out already. So I want to take those down to uh, the bakery and get them loaded up. Uh, and then we've got bread. We need to go and sell the last set of bread uh, today as well. So I'm going to park this tractor here because we're going to be loading up the flour shortly. Just let the last of these be reboxed. And yeah, I have a rule with this trailer. If we are doing a straight up selling, uh, then we can stuff can go in here and be reboxed. If we're just transporting, we can't use this. We've got to use a flatbed. Uh, otherwise, uh, it just seems weird to box stuff up into crates and then unbox it from crates. So, yeah, I, I that is my rule on how we work with this. Uh, it's it. If we're boxing stuff into here, it has to come out in those boxes as well. I hadn't actually realized the time. We're only just going to get to here. Uh, really? today i think and what we'll do then is uh we'll load up the flour and the uh and the bread and get them sold first thing tomorrow morning um 2381 plus a 142 on the environmental score so uh yeah 47000 we are looking really really good I'm I'm quite happy with this. It has turned six o'clock though, and that is going to bring us to the end of the day for today. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.